One who could believe unto that life and conquer the death we had going on in our bodies. And so he absorbed our death into his body and he believed on the life of God and God's spirit to conquer that death in him. As our high priest, when God raised him up and sat him at the right hand, what he did was he conquered death. And he says, sit here on my right hand till we make your last enemy, which is death, your footstool. That's going to be when God sends Jesus back in a physical body. And he stands on the mountaintop. The, the Bible, you know, the Old Testament is riddled with language that says God shall send the law from Zion. That the law of God will come from Mount Zion. Mm -hmm. Not Mount Sinai. Mm -hmm. Well, what law is that? Jesus. Teaching of right. God, which is Jesus. Jesus. Which is what the word law means. It means teaching and instruction. God doesn't teach and instruct our behavior. He's not into behavior modification. He teaches and instructs what we believe in our heart. What did Abram believe about himself? When God came and said, I am thy shield and exceeding great reward, Abram. What did Abram say? What are you going to give me, seeing as I go without a seed? I ain't got nothing. How are you going to give anything to me? And so what needed to be taught and instructed? The persuasion in his heart. See, Abram was busy thinking that he can only be the father of many nations and exceedingly fruitful through his own ability. And he looked at himself and said, how can I have any of that? And so what needed to be taught? His persuasion. Yeah. So what does God teach? He comes and teaches him who he is. Yes. He comes and teaches him what God believes about him. And then he teaches him how he'll appear as who and what God believes about him. Teaching and instructing his heart. What did God do with the law that came from Mount Zion? Jesus. He teaches and instructs our hearts. What does he teach and instruct our heart? That we are the sons and daughters of God. And our ability to appear as who and what we are, clothed in glory and immortality, is of him and his doing. And in the context of this conversation, it's of him and his right hand. Our right it's hand. by the right hand of God that he will clothe us with glory and immortality. Uh -huh. Well, who's his right hand? Jesus. Jesus. That's right. By the work of God. 